Now this is an interesting as well as important topic. So I would like to you know shed some more light on uh, why CF bond is the strongest one. See, first of all, fluorine is a very small element, right? And hence, uh, uh, you know, the distance between carbon and fluorine would be very less. There is no dis uh, there is no internuclear distance, almost negligible. The distance between the nucleus of fluorine and outermost shell, and hence this distance becomes very less. And if you remember. Uh, the uh, uh, you know the uh, uh, force of attraction is inversely proportional to square of the distance. So that first of all makes this molecules attracted to each other quite strongly. Second thing is fluorine is quite electronegative, most electronegative element, and hence this delta value is the maximum among all other halogens. So the charge difference is quite a lot, and since those are positive and negative charges, those get attracted to each other which makes this bond quite strong to break and hence the carbon fluorine bond is the strongest bond in organic chemistry right now naturally as we go down the group the length of cx bond keeps on increasing again two reasons for it first reason is the size of uh, atoms or molecules itself goes on increasing right Chlorine is definitely bigger than fluorine. Second reason, electronegativity goes on decreasing as we go down the grip. So the attraction between uh, carbon and the halogen also goes on decreasing, which makes the dipole that is set up to be large. Right? Okay. Now let us test our knowledge. Dash as is the negative end of dipole. And what is the answer? Okay, let us now see what all we have grasped so far. So, carbon halogen bonds are, uh, you know, dash bonds with dash as the positive and dash as the negative end of the dipole. So, uh, friends, uh, what kind of bonds are carbon halogen bonds? They are polar bonds, right? And uh, which atom is on the positive side? Well, uh, from which atom do the electrons, you know, uh, get withdrawn or kind of uh, um, uh, repelled to from? It is carbon, right? And uh, halogens are at the negative end of the dipole since halogens are more electronegative than carbon. To reiterate, electronegativity means ability to attract electrons. Since halogens attract the electrons from carbon, right? That is why the you know the negative uh, charge is uh, slightly negative charge is seen on the halogen and positive on the carbon atom. Okay, which is the most electronegative halogen? Fluorine, right? Out of carbon fluorine and carbon iodine, which bond will have more bond dissociation energy? So, what is bond dissociation energy? It is the energy required to dissociate or break a bond. So, naturally, the stronger bond will have more bond dissociation energy. And as we read that carbon fluorine bond is the strongest bond, I mean, let alone more than carbon iodine or not. Carbon fluorine is the strongest bond in organic chemistry. So, the answer would be CF bond will have more bond dissociation energy.